Hi guys, we're back to 10 miles of safety. This was the last video. Um, sorry for not taking for taking so long. Uh, my computer blew up, so I haven't had a computer. I had to renew practically everything inside the computer. So you're going to see some quality difference uh, between this, but we're continuing on. We were from 1.2. Um, now I'm not sure if this is a little bit different than normal, but you'll notice that uh, these uh, soldiers have miniguns. Uh, they take a while to set up, so you can still kind of just um, get these guys down first and then uh, take on the tank. Be careful that you don't blow up with the tank like I just did. Uh, tank can be the end of you very quickly. Unfortunately, I've got a weak gun. Nothing I can do about that because I've kind of rushed it. Um, I had to redo the whole thing again, uh, so you're gonna have to, you're gonna see a cut. Um, but I basically just kept running to the end. Hmm. Okay, so with the tank, I've realised you, the tanks can destroy themselves. All you got to do is. Um, Walk up to the tank. I'm just going to. Uh, I don't even have much first aid. Uh, I'll just pick up the first aid quickly. And now finish myself off. There we go. Uh, so. So the reason why I've got two explosions there is because there's another tank uh, just on top of this one. Uh, he can reach, so. But he can't reach if I think if I'm about here, so... No, prove me wrong, he can. <laughs> oh, that's alright, he got double damage, I think, there. But if you keep doing this, you don't even need uh, good weapons, you just need uh, weapons that are long range. Um, so, after I do this, I'm going to actually really run the thing and see how quickly I can get the game down to. But uh, after this video, I'll show you the developers and yada yada yada. Go through it. So you can hear the mini gun, mini their mini guns um, activating, but they take a while to kick in. As long as if you don't stand in the one spot, you should be alright. Uh, the tank will protect me from the other. Soldiers from being able to hit me. So, uh, I, all I have to do is wear this down, and the explosion of the tank should send the other two soldiers flying. Uh, again, I got caught by the tank explosion. Gotta be so careful. Uh, so, but this is by Trick Games. Um, it's a three-man development team but from the United Kingdom. Uh, even though it's from three three different guys programmers, the uh, lead programmer is Scott Griffith, and his company is actually run by the Griffith family. So Christina Griffith, she runs the front end, sort of like the face secretary. And then you got John Griffith, who's the director, and so is Scott Griffith. But uh, Scott Griffith is the um, is the glue that holds it all together, and uh, we'll show him at the end of the video. So this is a good time to uh, pick up everything that you need, because uh, the timer is paused. Just gonna quickly take this guy out while I can. The only I'm out of ammo, seriously. I've got no ammo in either gun. That's crazy. I like how he's just standing there not doing anything. Could throw a explosive at him, I guess. Uh, just look, looking for ammo, ammo, guys. Don't have a shotgun. Oh, parts. Uh, parts are needed for sentry guns. It's like a achievement where you gotta kill 250 with sentry over a course of period of time I might as well activate this one uh, so we're now at the airfield uh, and uh, 
what have we got? 1.1. 1, 1. 1. So that's knowing where all the uh, indicators are is good. Uh, also, the loot boxes crates are color coded according to um, the dot that's on them. So a white white uh, means it's empty or it's been searched. Uh, blue is can be a throwable, can be ammo, can be. Um, I've got it all written down somewhere. Uh, purple and orange are the ones with, that have good weapons that you're after, and uh, green is. Uh, first aid basically first aid and bandages Okay, got 14 bullets. Let's take this guy. Oh, sorry There we go Got three health kits now we can just raise the barrier That's a lot longer than needed to And now we just run Ooh, rocket, that's what I need. I'm just gonna grab this stuff because I wanna get the achievement uh, for um, the lock and load achievement to get all weapons. Now, I don't think you need to get all 31 weapons to get that achievement. I think you only need to get 25 because uh, that achievement is based on the original. Uh, so they added from 25 to 31, I believe. Um, so that might be a bit confusing. I don't know when it comes to armor. I haven't been able to unlock the armor one. Um, even after finding 13 pieces of armor or whatever it is. How many armor? 12, I think. Um, still wasn't able to unlock it and I searched very hard. So I don't know. I'm just running this anyway. Um run 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 again if you're just joining us the scientist has a perk where uh, he doesn't take damage so what you can do is just kill kill an object and then uh, place a basic barricade in front of it and then jump on top of it and uh, that uh, helps you to be safe uh, so that's the plan that's what I'm going to do but what I'm trying to do is run as far in uh, as I can Okay. So now what I need to do, I where am I? I'm at zero point four. So the airbase actually is zero point one. I wouldn't make it. Probably going to make it to zero point two. I reckon. Hmm, this is getting close, 0 0.2, no, I can make it a little bit further. Oh, here's a plane, I might use this plane, this is good. So, 0 0.1 is basically where the airfield is, where I have to go. So, if I just, that looks already like it's exploded, so, just put a basic barricade, and now I just jump on top of the plane, basically. And that's it, uh, they can't get me on here. As long as if the object I'm on is exploded. The other thing you want to keep in mind is to explode uh, any objects that are explodable near, near you. Uh, because if they can't attack the thing you're on, they will attack uh, the explodable item near you. And that explosion, if you're in the blast radius, will um, uh, make you fall off and then they'll be able to get you. The other thing you need to keep in mind, um, so sometimes like in the city, you can jump on cars like Land Rovers and pick up trucks and ambulance. Um, when you jump on those things, you need to make sure that uh, you get rid of the behemoths because the behemoths uh, have the ability to uh, smack you. Um, the, Usually if you have a, quite a, a gun that's uh, able to quickly wipe out a behemoth. Having said that, when you got something like an armoured behemoth, uh, all you can do is basically try and prevent it with a pistol or something. Uh, 
So all the enemies are basically the same. You got shamblers in the day. Uh, you got hunters and behemoths at, uh, in the night, um, which are faster. Uh, we're doing it on nightmare mode, which is the hardest. And with that, you've got uh, armored shamblers and you've got armored and toxic uh, hunters and armored and toxic behemoths on top of that. Um, I think armored behemoths are pretty much the worst. Toxic ones aren't too bad, they explode, but yeah. And the zombies will, uh, the hunters will attack shamblers if they uh, come over from day to night. Um, supposedly, according to the story or the lore, it's actually um, hunters are second stage infection from the shamblers. And, I'm guessing behemoths are a third stage uh, from that. So we've got a cut here. Um, this is where my computer blew up. And <laughs> so this is better quality. Um, and uh, hopefully uh, you can see the, see a big vast difference now in the recording. Um, and all we got to do is finish it. This is nightmare mode. Um, all I've got is to uh, basically find the airfield and that's it. Uh, I'm not going to go through that because I went through that before. He basically says, um, go rescue my guys, I think. So we're going to do that now. You always get 25 infected that you need to take out here. Um, up to you how you take them out. You can use melee. Now this game was uh, supposed to be um, after it was released on PC. It's only on Steam at the moment. Um, this game was supposed to be uh, ported to Nintendo Switch and then onto Xbox uh, and um, and then uh, they, they, they were tinkering around with VR as well um, but Trick Jump games have moved on to the third game for some reason and uh, all that development or all that promise has gone into limbo uh, there's also a couple of achievements that aren't ported well um, they're basically impossible. Uh, they, the developers know about the problem and haven't fixed it. They've known for years and they haven't got rid of those achievements. They haven't fixed it. They just deaf ear to it. So, unfortunately, um, I think they have a lot on their plate just for three developers. So, um, it's understandable. But look, if you can't deal with it, just remove the achievement. Not that hard. Because um, achievement hunters are a big part target. I'm, I'm dying here. These things got too close. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fail this. I failed it. Ah. Oh. See, all I can do is um, when you get an armor like that, all you can do is basically just. Um, Alright, so I failed this, I'm just going to pick up what I can and then move down. Uh, how the game works is it's procedurally generated, random, uh, but you, if you uh, fail, uh, you just run down and you come across another segment. Um, that's what I'm going to have to do, because I failed it. Uh, okay, so we're uh, back up to evacuation. Again, talk to the pilot. Now, the story goes, basically, the guy that we were talking to um, on the radio, or listening to on the radio, was a guy called Steve Michaels from um, the CDC. And we're actually joining up to... Presumably, we're joining up to his crew here um, uh, in the takeoff. He's dead. He committed suicide. 
spoilers there. Um, he uh, tripped over or uh, had an accident and uh, um, cut himself uh, with an open cut, exposed himself to the infection. So he committed suicide shortly after. So uh, that was that happened after the uh, shortly after the voice that we heard on the radio. Uh, we'll talk about that a bit later. And we're in uh, at, we're actually in Africa too. So this is an African airport. Uh, this is where the virus uh, began. We're not given a year of the virus, interestingly. And other than Africa, we aren't really, it's not revealed where in Africa this is. Again, an armored one, so I just have to uh, melee it. It's the quickest way of getting it down. Rockets won't work on it. There we go, so hopefully it won't stuff this one up now. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the rocket. Ah, uh, gotta be careful here. I don't want to. Ah, uh. again, I'm in trouble already, and I haven't even. Oh my goodness. Okay. All you need is five, but <laughs> not doing well. What have I got? Six or something. I nearly, I nearly failed this already. Okay, luckily the game felt sorry for me. I only produced one zombie then. Oh no, I spoke too soon. How many zombies are there now? Uh, okay, I can still deal with this. Okay, I still got six survivors. Got one spare. Ah, oh, another one. Got another one here. Oh, another one in the back. Oh, down to five survivors. I can't lose any more survivors now. Okay. I'm at my limit. Oh, just got it. Okay, there we go. Um. There you go. Now, what you can do is... Um, I figured this out where as long as if you don't approach the guy you can set yourself up before beforehand and that's what I'm going to do now I'm going to set myself up with the uh, jumping technique to get on top and uh, that stops me from having to uh, worry Get on top. This is why I recommend organizing that first. Okay, once you've done that, now you can talk to the pilot from here, and uh, you got plenty of time to organize yourself to get on top of this one. I'm not really stressed. There we go, on top. So that's a lot more easier, and then it's just waiting for the timer to tick down. When you talk to him first and then you come and set up the ba uh, basic barricade it's a bit stressful it's a bit dicky trying to get on top of these things uh, it doesn't always go according to plan and uh, it can get down to the wire and uh, that's where it can get uh, pretty pretty hairy hair raising okay so uh, can I dismantle that? no I can't understand, like, I can build from the distance, so why can't I dismantle that? I, I'm not understanding. Can I build a, uh, sentry? Could build all the others. Uh, nearly there. Um, unfortunately, the other problem is... I've had my games open, but I can't get anyone to join. Uh, this isn't like Payday where you can just start a game and people will join you non-stop. Um, I recommend the being scientist too, because apparently you can hurt each other with a flamethrower. So 
if people were to join and they had the flamethrower, they're going to hurt you if you don't have the scientist. Um, so, another reason to pick the scientist over everyone. But I would have loved to do four player. That would be awesome. Uh, but unfortunately, never been able to. Uh, a guy has uh, asked me to do this uh, game on my other channel as well. Um, especially, uh, uh, I might end up doing it. See what see what happens. Uh, I try and keep all these zombie and horror games to this channel. So, I only got a minute to go. Um, sometimes they can jump on here, so be prepared for that. What they do is they jump over on the corner, and sometimes they get up um, like that. What you just saw. Sometimes they land it, and then they come, come, come get you. Um, I'm gonna try and. Sh Sometimes you can shoot the gas canisters and you don't even need to get off this thing. Um, you just need to get off it temporarily so you can, but sometimes you don't even have to get down as long as if you stay away from the exploding gas canister. I'm not sure that's going to work though. So we're down to 10 seconds, we're nearly there. Um, I've become pretty good with the game now. I know what to expect. I think it would see he just got up uh, I think it would actually be possible. I'm just going to use a rocket and see if I can smack these guys out Unfortunately, they're coming at single line come at me as a horde guys You're making me waste my rocket See if I can build these guys up. Uh. If I can coerce these down, I might be able to. No. Nah. I was hoping to set up a barricade. I might still be able to do it. That's a electric. Uh, that's a foot. Oh, nah, he's. Might be able to set up a fortified barricade there. No, he's going to. I'm going to have to take these guys down, I think. They're, they're just not going to behave. I was hoping to um, set myself up a uh, barricade so I can jump on top of it. I'm just going to grab these. If I can get him to walk in this corner here. Walk in the corner, guys. There we go. Okay, can I trap them? No, they par fine. Maybe I can get a fortified barricade here and jump. Um, I'm gonna set up some fortified barricades now while I've got a chance. I'm gonna have to take these guys out. Trying to get all the stuff that I need. Okay. All right. Now we see. This is where it starts getting tricky. With all right. So I got a fortified barricade. I need to get up on top of this now. So this is where it gets hard. Come on, jump up. No. Concentrating. There we go. Got it. Um. So how many? So I've got a minute to go to set up uh, barricades. And what we're trying to do is just set it up so that um the hunters and aren't going to be able to. 
Oh, oh, basically the behemoth aren't going to be able to strike me. I gotta shoot that thing. I actually damaged half the barricade by using the rocket. I guess rocket's not the best idea here. See if I can step on this thing. Only one second to go. Come on, get up there. Got a little bit of a walking room. Thought I had it then. I might shoot this thing. First armored behemoth, how's that? That's because I ran the whole way. <laughs> Come on, how many more? Six seconds. As long as I can stay out of their range. Oh, oh just got it. Okay. That part isn't difficult. So it's pretty much the same uh, with just additional enemies. Um, and uh, the introduction is different. I'm not sure if the airport mini entrance is a little bit different too. And this time you successfully take off. I, I thought they could have changed the ending a little bit. Okay, so we have seven days I survived. I think I can do that faster. I'm gonna try again. Um, because I, I was a bit slow. So that's it. Okay, so this is uh, 10 miles of safety on the Steam store. You can see there's $14.50. That's what it normally sells at. I'm not sure what it sells at on sale. Um, Battle Royale Trainer is their first game they ever produced, which was basically to uh, train someone to be good at PUBG. Uh, that sold very well in the Chinese market. And so there you go. There's a proof. I've done it in days, days five. This is my Discord channel. Uh, I've uh, set up a uh, a walkthrough just for this game. Um, the survival mode, the zones, very easy to do. Um, there's stair outside stairwells, any two story house, just go in between the stairwell and the um and the uh, wall, and they can't get you. Um, and, or, and then on the second arena, just jump on that crate, and the highest level is maximum 50. Here's the 31 guns. Uh, there's no in game um marker that tells you what guns you're g missing. Um, so if you need to pause that, um, pause that. It also shows you the, uh, from basic to prototype. Prototype is the best type of, uh, weapon. Armor, I'm not sure. I couldn't find them all. Uh, so I, I'm missing five there, types of armor. Um, if you're able to find them, leave them in the comments. Let me know. Characters, the only ones I recommend are the scientists ones because you're immune to fire. And you can just jump on top cars after exploding them, and the uh, and none of them will be able to uh, get you. Uh, blueprints is uh, six blueprints all up, uh, or five blueprints other than the basic barricade, and there's eight 
recipes other than the bandages. Um, and here, there's all the enemies that you have to go there by. Um, so if you, uh, the Discord, is, my Discord is in the description. You can join it if you want. Uh, this, this is a story. you got to find these uh, mobile science labs. I'll just read you the story. April 10th, I arrived today by a helicopter out of Washington in response to reports of a strange new pathogen. The lab guys were so worried they diverted us while en route to the African subcontinent. As soon as we were wheels down, I knew something was very wrong here, too quiet, and people are scared. Local police have already been forced to shoot several civilians, some were their friends. I've been able to secure samples from the bodies and am running tests for everything known. No luck so far. So, as I said, we're in, the, the, the game is set in Africa, and uh, this person is the CDC, Stephen Michaels. Uh, April 14th, the results are fascinating. This is obviously something entirely new. Unfortunately for our own protection, we've been moved to a new location in the Docklands. I know how it sounds, but the police simply couldn't guarantee our safety in the suburbs. We simply must secure a life specimen, but affected individuals prove aggressive. Heading out now to try it once more, I'll be heading the grab team myself. So the person we were talking to was this Stephen Michaels, or listening to April 16, things are now dissolving rapidly here, almost didn't make it out alive. We've established a field base in an abandoned bank, which is making progress difficult. Lost three team members, procuring a live infected specimen, but worth it. I've already produced terabytes of data, which needs to get back to the lab as soon as possible. We hear strange sounds at night, sounds that don't seem human. I'm scared for the first time. So that proves that it took six days for the infected to turn into hunters. April 17th, the army sent a team to escort us out of the city. They had to use heavy weaponry on civilians. Things seem better here and the army appear to have some semblance of control. Perhaps we can contain this thing after all. I've been making regular radio broadcasts. Maybe someone will hear them and make it here alive. It's only things keep getting worse. Um, I hear they're getting ready to airlift us out, out of here as soon as the plane becomes available. Uh, it's all my fault Johnson must have been scratched or bitten on our last specimen hunting mission. He didn't say anything. In the chaos I tripped and fell, breaking a specimen container and cutting myself. Stupid. The rest of the team have taken the data and run for the plane. I hope it's there and they make it. If this thing gets out into the world world, it'll be the end of us. I don't have long now. I won't let myself turn. So he commits suicide. What's interesting is he's uh, on the radio calling people but the army has been given orders to shoot the civilians uh, without uh, discriminatory. So that's why we're very few. So you got these 10 different missions um, that uh, you can do. Um, one is protection. One is survive for an enclosed area, uh, enclosed amount of time. That's basically the, those two sets. And then you got two very hard missions called the Firing Squad missions and evacuate civilians to a helicopter. Good luck with those. They 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 are so aggravating. It's not funny. Uh, the, I thought this art was pretty cool. This this was on Steam. How cool is that looking art? That's awesome. Um, whoever made that really good. You can uh, actually stand on the fountain, which I thought was pretty cool. I haven't seen anyone do that. And you can actually get into the boat. And this is me standing on the fountain. <laughs> I just thought that was pretty cool. So, um, and I like this photo of a double flamethrower. I wish there was four people who could get together and do a four four flamethrower. Uh, this I don't know what was going on here. The game just smashed all everything together. Um, and uh, they haven't got that thing right. Here's the team. Here's the I believe that's Christina Griffith. Um, not sure who the other two th two people are. And uh, let's l listen to the developer. Yes. Coming to Steam Early Access uh, Monday, hopefully. Monday, which would be the 21st. Uh, that's right, yeah. 21st of tomorrow. October. At least tomorrow, yeah. Um, we obviously haven't slept for four days, so uh, hopefully Monday morning, uh, Steam Early Access, and then our plans are switch after that. 
and then hopefully potentially Xbox after that. Do you have uh, any envisions of how long you'd be in early access for? Do you have a goal for when you'd like to be uh, completely independent, self-publishing, you don't have a publisher, Thanks. you're a team of how many? Three people. Three people? Yeah. Okay, so very small remit. Very, very small. So how does the role split between three people? Because there's a lot more to than just, you know, programming and designing and there's more to it than that. Okay, so our team is, uh, I'm lead programmer. Um, I have another guy who's uh, more of a 3D artist, animator. And then we have uh, the extra guy is uh, kind of jack of all trades, animator, artist, programmer, sound guy, AI, team maker, um, everything else. The glue that keeps it all together. Absolutely right, yeah. And we know each other very well and um, we complement each other's skill sets. And that's how, you know, because we're such a small team, we have to produce a lot uh, in our time. And I think because um, we don't have to manage each other so much. We're okay, so that's basically um, Scott Griffith that you're listening to. Um, he's the lead one behind it all. Um, okay, so these are the achievements. I was able to unlock normal uh, lock and load, but I'm not sure about the rest. So achievement hunters may want to give this one a, a miss. Until next time, bye for now.